get me through. Can't get through. No. Could be on the other side. What must I find to get me through? This is the old workshop that Evaldi spoke of. I should check if it's already here. This place is heavily guarded.
Very shoddy. Found anything worthy of your talents? <sighs> this will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a, a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the Sarkis of your people, yet I've never heard. I of... never said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light, or their stories. I do. When Sutter invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. But the war with the Vani had only just ended and I was... ...wary. Long after, I learned how Sutter devoured the Elves in mortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Spartelheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? 
Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this... this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you're protected. Sinmara travels far and wide. But I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm. To unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Try looking near the largest karst south of here. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Langren was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broker. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. Do not linger. Go and find me some helpers. I will need help if I am to study the Salakar. Let's have a song.
moment.
You must grow. Catch the wind. over here.
Come, ah! we've outstayed our welcome. What do you think you're doing? Are you feeling all right? Little runt won't last much longer. Wish we had more snakes. Snakes get you. Are you well? No bites. Just tell me you made those bastards suffer. I hope you hurt them even half as much as the suffering they just caused. I'd be just as dead were it not for you. You find yourself in the Hodba shelter. Come and see me, so I can thank you properly. There is no need. Well, I respectfully disagree. These giants? There's another giant they answer to. Reckon maybe someone ought to pay them a visit. You want to find them? Then you'll want to look out for the mountain paths, north of Svarufosra, and be on your guard. Your desire for vengeance is noted. Should I venture north, I may seek out this leader and put an end to them. Then I shall make my way back to the shelter. Hope to see you again, stranger.
around for any signs leading to the shelter.
Just my love. problem uh, it's this cart stuck in the mud see and so my sacred duty will never be fulfilled sacred duty well, that's right in my family when our days are nearly done we hide our most beloved treasures behind waterfalls why because what is a waterfall with nothing behind it a water fail that's what of course, with moose belts everywhere, I cannot wait until I'm nearly in the ground. Think you could help me out? I'll pull the cart free. The cart? No. Lug this chest up those cliffs there. Much quicker if you do it. I'll make it worth your while. I am actually very busy. Well, it'll take a mere moment. Found a perfect spot already. Right behind one of the waterfalls. Walk along that log. Follow the path up the cliff, go through a little cave, and you'll find the right waterfall. You'll know you're in the right spot when you find the white flowers. Bring me a few, would you? So I know you managed to find it. <clears throat> white flowers. Very well. Oh, you are kind. I'll wait for you right here.
Sacred duty indeed. Ah, this is the first cave. Not my destination. The path must continue on to the correct waterfall. Looks like this spot's already taken. The next cave must be close. The cave with the white flowers. My savior. Well then, do you have the flowers? I do. Here. Ah, oh, excellent. And, uh, you did put the chest where I asked, yes? Of course. Good, good. Then you have my thanks. My sacred duty is fulfilled. And my reward? Oh, the finest of all. Gratitude. And the satisfaction of a job well done.
Let's see you, Hunt. A dwarf mark. They must. to a dwarven shelter. Dwarves have left their mark. Shelter's close. I feel it. This way will take me to the dwarves. There's a shelter not far from it. Shelter evil they spoke of. I should head inside. You should really leave. Ah. 
Half the price? That seems generous. Well, I doubled the prices yesterday to make a profit, but nobody bought anything. So, half the price today. You haven't been doing this very long, have you? It's my second day. Isn't there someone more experienced to show you the ropes? Nope. I saw a gap in the market and I went for it. Why? Aren't they doing a good job? No, no, it, it's, it's not that. You do, don't you? <laughs> this is a ploy to persuade me to buy something. Is it working? Uh. Bye for now. No, we are their fearless allies. They won't let us down. Good to see you somewhere less dangerous. Good to see you again. Never thought I'd be so glad to be back here. But I am, thanks to you. Here, something to say thank you for saving me. I'm sure you would have done the same were you in my position. Thank you. Whoever gave the orders to torment these dwarfs, I should find them, stop them. You shouldn't be here! Hello there. I bring word from Ivaldi. What do I care? Go talk to the ganger. Ganger? Yeah, the chief. Name's Oakler. So much shit. You know how it works. Fix a problem for Reda, get a reward. You'll be back. And there will be more contracts waiting. No, we are their dearest allies. They won't let us down. Look around you, Aesir. All the treasure a heart could want, but not a scrap of food for the belly. What good is a thing if it makes no one happy? All that counts are people in the end. What was this place before it became your sanctuary? A treasury. When the invasion began, they sent warriors to guard it. Our leaders would rather protect their wealth than our lives. And we followed. Seeking protection? And so we are here, all the wealth we could wish for, yet hungry and miserable still. I would like to reorganize the crew. Keep well. I'm sure I know you. What do you want? 
so many I do not take kindly to being interrupted. Do I look like I got time for someone else? Here to lend a hand. My back is killing me. The Raidmar's armor. He wore it when his sons turned against him. Dwarves believe it to be cursed. I don't think they'll mind if I relieve them of this malediction. Good to see you. Were you followed? Greetings, dwarf. I am Harvey of the Asia. Ah. You're not one to waste words, friend. I wish there were more like you. Let's talk again soon. Be welcome.
You really did that? An ass here? Here? Let's talk again soon. Oh, a sight for sore eyes.
Evaldi requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. Go talk to Orgler. He's the master of this workshop? Master? <laughs> nah, but he's chief when the masters ain't here. You should go speak with Ogler again. What do you want? Evil, he sends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokir or Sindri. They still breathe? Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Brokir? Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway, look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Broker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... by Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivaldi. He's at the old workshop ruins. Fetch the high one! Hail to you, friend. If it's bird or beast you seek, you've come to the right place. Everything you see is for sale, except for Nara, of course. And who is Nara? Your prize steed? Ha! That knackered old nag! She's nobody's prize. But I owe her, and that's why she'll always hold a place in my heart. You're in debt to a horse. I am, for she saved my life. The addled old thing broke out of a pen and wandered far from the village, and I set out to find her. It took me a day and a night to bring her home. When I did, I found my village in flame and ruin. No one got out alive. None but you. Aye, and I have Nara to thank for that. Together we made for the nearest shelter and... Well, here we are. What else can I do for you? Farewell.
this place. I've seen it in my dreams. Loki had failed once in his attempts to ruin the work of Sindri and Broca, but he had a mind to try again. Again he bit Broca, and again, over and over until the dwarf could stand it no more. But stand it he did, outlasting the full extent of Loki's mischief. A ring of gold from which eight more rings would fall like rain every ninth night. A font of endless wealth for Asgard's most righteous lord. My Jotun brother would have one last chance to spoil the works of Sindri and Broca. If he failed, it would cost him his head.
Gemstones that dwarf mentioned. Just stand there. Get it over with. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of any of you. Put me out of my misery so I don't have to look at your ugly faces any longer. I'd ask if you have any last words. But I'll watch you squirm a bit longer, you loudmouth ball sack. Your little mates thought they were smart enough to get away. But look at you all now. For you ugly bastards! A written invitation? Do us all a favor and get it done, would ya? A curse on you!
it's safe now, and maybe not for long. What are the chances? Saved by the High One! Thank you, truly. I only wish you'd got here sooner. The poor buggers deserved better. You ever find yourself in the Hotta Shelter, I would be keen to repay your kindness somehow. If my path leads me there, then very well. The giants you just killed answered to another. Mean bastard, I hear. Sounded like you can find them west of Gömmelstifla, should you be so inclined. That's not very specific. But I may take a look, see what can be found. Aye. I could not glean much more than that, sorry. Right then. Back to the shelter for me. Good hunting, High One. Those dwarves spoke of the same place. I know where it is. Surtur. His men have no His men have no idea. His men have no idea. Good. We must keep it that way. No mo Good. 
We must keep it that way. No Muspel, no Aesir can know what we're planning. Sir, you hear that? I stay hidden. <laughs> Happy? Around here. The risk is too great. Why are we here when Glock? Oh, brought me gems, have you? I'll see what I can find for you. The risk is too great. You're working so hard. Why?
carving dwarves. Be welcome, so friend. So much shit. I sometimes think Reda makes these up just to keep us all busy. Thank you for taking the contract. How can so many starving dwarves produce so much shit? I thought I recognized you. Good to see you, Haiwan. And without anyone needing to die. Here, you saved my neck. Least I can do is give you this in thanks. Then it is my turn to give thanks. The High One will save us from the Giants. But who will save us from the High One? Times it stung me. Three on the hand, then the neck, all oh, then on my eyeball. A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel, a big one. An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Sutunga's special mead? What's that frosty ass guy do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... Uh, it can... Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Ailthorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Evildee with a job I need done. 
Now hold on, we didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. Good to see you. So many starving dwarves produce so much... Remind me, why do I find myself company? Be grateful, child. You might learn something. Child? Fuck off. I'm the same age as you. And in all that time, consider what I have learned, and what you have No, we are their dearest allies. They won't let us down. Leave us be. Spell in a single blow, just out of my reach. What ails you, little one? By the might of Emir, you, you are Harvey of Asgard, yes? I had heard you were afoot, but never expected to lay eyes upon you. It's my hammer. A mighty hammer. Strong enough to tear a mountain in two. And by sheer accident, I tripped and threw it out there. If you can retrieve it, then you may keep it, Harvey. A weapon of such strength cannot be ignored. Very well. I shall get it. It is done. A trivial matter for the High One. Yes, I could see the lava was no problem for you. But... Oh, no! Oh, the hammer, it is damaged! Damaged? Yes, look closely. This crack in the shaft. You have passed the trial, High One. Trial? What trial? Ah! This area is off limits. Ah, oh, my head. What the hell? Don't draw attention. Just get over here before it's too late. Right, we've only got one shot at this, so listen and listen good. What are you jabbering about? Who are you? What's happening? Unless you want me to tell this Moospel who you really are, and while you're still helpless, I suggest you do as I tell you, and quickly. Helpless? You dare threaten me? I'll throttle you through these bars! Shut up, or I'll shut you up! There's no time to explain. I'll lure the guard, you grab his key. Get us out of here, and I'll explain everything. Ready? 
What? Hey, you! Yeah, you! Come here! I got some information your chief is gonna want. Go on then, enlighten me. What drivel will you spout this time? Your mother stopped by last night. Paid me a visit. She died years ago, fool. Yeah, well, uh, you idiot. Idiot, am I? Suter's your overlord, yeah? Reckon he might want to find the High One of Asgard? Ha! The shit that comes out of your mouth! What if I told you that Harvey is a lot closer than you think? I tell you, your execution is a lot closer than you think! I know where Harvey is right now. so we can leave. Right. You let me know when you're ready. Get up. We're leaving. Only if you promise to get me out, no matter what. I stay here, I'm dead. Tell me what's going on or I'll kill you myself. The Moospels took me prisoner. Threw me in here. Now, on the other side of that opening is a hall full of lava. I can't get out. Not on my own. But if you're in here with me, lava's not a problem for you. And not according to our mutual acquaintance. The Jotun shapeshifter. The one who tricked me and told me of a hammer that could split mountains. Ah, that old chestnut. Look, you want the real hammer? Pick me up, get me through that tunnel. <sighs> Fine. Drop you into it. Just hurry up! Ah. Come, High One, time to go! Sweet aroma of freedom. And we have you to thank for it. What was your crime? Other than being a dwarf and fighting invaders? Fighting invaders? I'm a blacksmith by trade. Just before the invasion of our lands began, I single-handedly armed an army. Bravest dwarves you ever saw. Clans dropping long-held grudges, joining to fight the moor spells and the yacht. Anyway, all came to nothing in the end. I was locked up. Told they'd let me out if I made weapons for the moose pals. <laughs> Told them I'd sooner die. Now, about that hammer. I know. Nothing more than a tall tale. And not a bad one. You did all this knowing there was no mighty weapon. 
I see now why they call you the High One. Safe at last, brother. I told you I would find someone who could help. Never thought I'd be so happy to lay eyes on that big, ugly face of yours. You did well, brother. Ugly? <laughs> have you looked in the mirror lately? Father should have dropped you from the cliffs the moment your tiny, screwed-up face drew breath. <laughs> it's good to see you. Well, well. The Jotun who managed to fool me. And your brothers. Aye. Brothers from another mother. Our father was Travi, the famed dwarven explorer who traveled the Nine Realms. Travi and my mother are dwarves. My half-brother here is half-dwarf, half Jotun. We have a sister who is half-dwarf, half, half Muspel. And another brother that is... well... half-bear. But that's another story. I see. Your father Travi was... very well-traveled. He kept himself busy, that's for sure. You have our gratitude, High One. We shall drink to your honor for all time. Enjoy your freedom. And stay out of trouble, that's... attention here.
sweet scent of mead, fouled by the stench of muspels. Yatna, too. Making any use of this place. They let it rot. Really, Sentry? All this trouble for you? 
skulls meet. Special mead. Given the puddles on the floor, he must have taken a bath in it. This hammer bears the mark of Sindri, and here, a bag of roasted acorns. This blood is many days old. One trail leads in, the other out. A chain was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they are not as light as they look. have a prison not far from here. Jan's house, they call it. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish. But alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's Hoos. That is where I should go next.
a nice hard shaft in the rear. You Asgard dog! <laughs>
that first watchman. Your vigilance strengthens my resolve. This place reeks of misery. More than I would even wish upon Loki, no matter his crimes. It's likely Sindri was brought here many days ago. I hope I'm not too late.
last gemstone. This mark. Whoever he was, he had his hoover cruelly stolen. I can sense that the Salakar was satisfied on this occasion. Was this Calder's first victim? And that amulet, the sigil. Sindri, reckless fool, all this was a meat. Oh well, it is done. I must return the body to Brock. Not even the dwarves deserve to suffer like this! Chance led to Sindri's capture, but the nature of his death, that was not chance. When the enemy realized they had such a prize in their clutches, Yeah, I'm finished!
such as Sindri's, are of lesser value. Still, it can't be coincidence that Kaldas sated the Salakar with the Hoogas of so many races. Muswell, Jotun, Dwarf, who knows what else? It cannot be! Is this Sindri, noblest of dwarves? Please, let this not be our missing master. Who is this you bring? No! It can't be! Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh, simply. No. No, my dear Sindri. The funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend the broker to my will. I must speak with broker. Bye for now. crafty way to cross the lake. I must find a way to ease Broker's sorrow and make him amenable to my wishes. Now Broker is all alone. How will he manage without his big brother How to can I him? tell Broker we're missing the tools? <laughs> Sindri, you son of a rock, where did you hide your tools? <laughs> Last time I saw the master, he was sitting under his oak tree. Roasting his acorns. How can I tell Broca we're missing hammer. the tool? You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? 
tell me everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar, like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... he always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes! I've seen him do it many times in the workshop! Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. But then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead. Right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. Last can time I, I saw Broca the master, the he tools. was sitting under his oak tree, roasting his acorns, oiling his favorite hammer. Not now. I need time to grieve. I'll cut down that oak tree now Sindri's gone. Can't stand the sight of it without him here. <sighs> Where could they be? There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong! We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri. To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brooker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I'd be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. Conversation, even the lies. Sindri, where would I hide my beloved tools? Somewhere high up, perhaps. Go, Sunin, a majestic oak. Surely this is Sindri's beloved acorn tree. That nest looks like a promising hidey hole. 
If I had wings, I could reach it easily enough. with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. Guards here are vigilant. Stay for your sake. 
I need your eyes, my friend. Here, Versal can't find the Master's tools. It's too horrible to even think about. The disaster has been averted. Oh! Now I see why some call you God! You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage. But tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. <laughs> Evil the has come. Perhaps he can be of use. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, 
Now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you, Sindri's greatest rival. Would surely... Ah, oh, fuck off. We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering, brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still, we can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Who knows how long it will take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It will be faster if I do it. My brother, a true master. He was, sir. Uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the saw. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Now, tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine Sutra was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svartalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay. 
when you say it like that. I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know. Let me think on it, all right? A little old think. should not be seen in this area.
here. Please. You'll get us whipped, or worse! Run up the Sing us a song. to you, eh? Hey, get back! Back! Let me be, I beg you! Yeah, please! Watch your step! Go on, join your little maids down there. You harmed? Olive. I oh, thank the stars you came by when you did high one. I thought that would be the end of me. It was nothing. Maybe for you. For me, it was everything. I'd have ended up like them down there. Here. A token of thanks. Huh? Oh, typical. 
They must have chucked my supplies in the sea. It's just not my day, is it? At least you live to tell your tale. And gratitude is payment enough. Well, find me at the Grenheller shelter if you change your mind. Big cave, full of crystals. Well worth a look. My offer will still stand. And you want to find whoever's in charge of these corpses? Sounds like they're in the swampland south of Atri. Interesting. But I make no promises. Uh, no one asked you to. Well then, I hope to see you at the Grenheller shelter. She says, paint all the signs to the shelters. She says, I'm risking my bloody neck every bloody day, more like it. Might have painted a few too many of these, come to think of it. Tried to sneak up on me, you frosty bastard. Not today, Jotun! Dwarves have left their mark here. Ha <laughs> ha, Jotun! You can't fool me with your shape-shifting, even in your current ugly form. Stand your ground! You address no Jotun, you sniveling sack of... Where did he go? And how do I get out of here? You Jotunar call us, and so vermin shall feast upon you. Good riddance, son! Make an enemy of Harvey, Lord of Asgard, Lord of Asgard. That was like a trap. Should light it up, you sneaky little. We meet at last. What in? How did? No Jotun has ever outsmarted my trap. Oh, oh crap! You're really not a Jotun, are you? Which means you're the Lord of Asgard. Yes, and in no mood for such trickery. 
Even though I must admit, I admire your cunning. You managed to fool me, if only for a brief moment. Many have tried, few have succeeded. Even fewer lived to tell the tale. So who are you, dwarf? Bansky, they call me. Before the invasion, I was an artist. Some clever clogs reckoned I should paint all the signs to all the dwarf shelters. And that's how I found this empty shelter here. Thought I'd use it to get a little payback, you know? Teach some Yotuns a lesson. Admittedly, it's not the most efficient means of revenge, but... Every journey begins with a single step, eh? <laughs> Still, never thought I'd catch an Arseer in my trap. Ah, uh, unintentionally, I should point out. All you caught was my attention. And perhaps a tiny sliver of my respect. Then if you'll indulge me, what went wrong? What was the failure in my trap? There was no failing. Other than your prey was the wisest and most cunning of all beings in the Nine Realms. And modest, too. Another of my attributes. You underestimate your enemy. You're telling me Jotnar actually fall for this childlike ruse of yours? Literally, yes. You saw the bodies. Can't help themselves. They see a dwarf dive down and boop, in they go. Same as you, if you recall. Yes, my curiosity got the better of me this day. The rats. I'll be happy to never see them again, but you had too few. A pack of wolves would be better. They'd make short work of your prey. Ah, yes, a pack of wolves. Very easy for a dwarf to catch and handle. Why didn't I think of that, eh? Get one to chase you down there. Every journey begins with a single step. You're far from the first tricks I have tangled with. And you have much to learn to be worthy of the title. Everyone's a critic. I have nothing more to say. But you should look your prey in the eye. Let them know who has bested them. Ah, yes. Get within reach of someone, a far bigger someone, with an increasing desire to kill me. <laughs> what a terrific idea. In any case, I am no warrior, and this shelter here is all I have with which to fight back. All I have are my wits, my anger, and my shelter. Then what more do you need? Good hunting, Bansky. And to you! Huh? <laughs> 